The latest polls are in. The statesmanlike way you handled the pet incident has put you over the top. You're ahead 51 to 49. Congratulations, Mr. Governor. Excellent. Bard, would you like to say grace? Dear God, we pay for all this stuff ourselves, so thanks for nothing. <gasps> um, <laughs> only an innocent child could get away with such blasphemy. God bless them all. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> He's smoking. He's smoking. Um, you know, Mr. Burns, my family and I, um... <clears throat> feel that taxes are too high. Where do you stand on this highly controversial issue? Oh, goodness, uh, I didn't realize this casual dinner was going to turn into a charged political debate. I was only reading what the... Uh, Homer, I agree with you, and if I'm elected governor, I will lower taxes whether those bureaucrats in the state capitol like it or not! Lisa, do you have a question you would like to ask your Uncle Montgomery? Yes, sir. A very inane one. Mr. Burns, your campaign seems to have the momentum of a runaway freight train. Why are you so popular? Ooh, a tough question, but a fair one. Lisa, there's no single answer. Uh, some voters respond to my integrity. Others are more impressed with my incorruptibility. Still others by my determination to lower taxes, and the bureaucrats in the state capitol can put that in their pipes and smoke it. Oh, Mom, that felt awful. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. It will all be over soon. But, Mom, we've become the tools of evil. Lisa, you're learning many lessons tonight, and one of them is to always give your mother the benefit of the doubt. Get a decent brick, or fair shake, or even a square deal. Mmm, smells delightful. <gasps> <gasps> All right, three-eyed fish. Can I have your plate, Mr. Burns? Sure. Ruined before it hit the ground. Get me the city deck. Here's your headline, Phil. Burns can't swallow own story. The latest polls indicate Burns' popularity has plummeted to earth like so much half-chewed fish. You must have a few tricks left up your sleeve. Smithers, boil some coffee. We're not licked yet. Yes, we are. Come on, boys. The old guy's finished. Wait! Come back! You can't do this to me! I'm Charles Montgomery Burns! Smithers, tip over this table for me. Yes, sir. Make them stop. Uh, 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 Mr. Burns. Uh, Mr. Burns. Shut up and wreck something. Mr. Burns, I hardly see what destroying our meager possessions is going to accomplish. Uh, she's right. Take me home, Smithers. We'll destroy something tasteful. Ironic, isn't it, Smithers? This anonymous clan of slack-jawed troglodytes has cost me the election. And yet, if I were to have them killed, I would be the one to go to jail. That's democracy for you. You are noble and poetic in defeat, sir. Simpson, I shall make it the focus of my remaining years that your dreams will go unfulfilled. Uh-oh. You're busted, Dad. Oh. My dreams will...